Hi everyone, JJIR here, and in this video we're going to see how to do a Hangouts chatbot by using Google App Engine, which is found in Google Cloud Platform. To be able to do what we're going to do today, you need to have previously done the following things. First, you need to open up a project in Google Cloud Platform. Second, you need to have activated the APIs on that project. Then, you need to have activated App Engine. Then, you need to have had created the service account and then downloaded the keys for that service account in your local workstation. So if you haven't done those things or you don't know how to do those things, then I have a few videos on that. First, we have a video relating Google Cloud Platform to iOS. If you don't know how to program on iOS using Google Cloud Platform, I have a video on that. And then I have a more generic video on Google Cloud Platform using G Cloud, which you can also look at. And all of these things will bring you from 0 to 100 in relationship to doing the previous steps that I have mentioned here above. Besides that, we're going to use Vim for editing in our terminal. If you don't know how to use Vim, I also have a video on that you can watch, which will be applied exactly as we do it today. So presupposing that you've done all of this, then you can open up this link here, which is Google's example, which we will use today. We're going to base what we do today on this, and then later on in future videos, we'll make this more complex. But it's important that you already have the basics set up so that you don't have any problems with this in the future when we do other projects that are a little more advanced. And then finally, this is something that's helped me tremendously, is the error page. Because many times when you upload something to App Engine, you really don't know what's going on unless you go to the error page of Google Cloud Platform to find out what's going on with that App Engine. Very, very helpful and very detailed information about the errors come out there, so we'll use that as well. So once you're done with opening these two up and having everything else prepared, now we can actually get ourselves into the activity we want to do today. So as we mentioned, the first thing you want to do is open up this example, which I will leave in the description under the video. And then we need to look at three basic things, the app dot YAML, the main.py, and requirements.txt. Those are the three things that we are going to use. Nothing else is interesting or important here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our terminal and get a folder ready to put these things inside. So back in our terminal, which I, again, presuppose you've already done the steps that we mentioned before. If we do an ls here, we're going to see that we've already downloaded the keys.json file that we need to be able to have access, authentication, to the chatbots API. So once we have that, what we want to do is make a directory, and we'll call this test YouTube just for now. And then we're going to go cd into that, and now we're inside. So here is where we need four things. First, we need the keys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy the keys to this folder. So we're going to do cp, and then we're going to put keys here. So we're just going to do keys YouTube for now. And with that, we're set. So if we do an ls here, we now have these keys in a file that we need here. And that's one of the four files that we need. The next one we're going to need is we're going to copy and paste the other things we have from the other three files we saw before. So first, we're going to go back here. And we'll create the requirements txt. And so we have these three things here that we need. We're going to command C on this guy and go back. And we will do this. This has to be named exactly the same way. So we'll just do a vim here. And then requirements.txt, enter. Have that open up. Then we're going to do I for edit. And then control V. And that guy is ready to go. And then we're going to hop out of that. And then clear it. So our, if we do an ls here, we now have the two things that we need, which are the keys YouTube and the requirements TXT. So the next thing we need to do is copy the other ones. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to go back one here. And then we're going to grab the app mall one. And they have a lot of stuff here, but we don't need any of this. We're going to just going to grab this here. Controls Command C, go back. And again, we're going to create the exact same one. I for enter, Command V. We don't need these things here, so we're going to get rid of them. And then this is ready to go. The only thing we need to fix here is we need to change this to where 
this name is what we had before. So we're going to put that in here. So once we've added that, then all we have to do is close that up. And that'll be ready to go. If we do an ls here, we have our three files here, and we need a fourth one. So we're going to go back and get the actual code. So here we're going to go back one. We're going to go to main, and then we're going to copy all of this code here. So once we have that selected, we're going to do another command C. Go back over here, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do vim main.py, enter i for edit, command V, and that will all be ready to go as well. And if you go up to the top here, you're going to see that importing here, if you go down to this part here, you're going to see it's importing a couple things. Now, what I want to underline here in this section is that Anything that's a built-in module within Python, you do not need to add to the requirements. So if you can see here, we have logging. But if we go out of this and we go into our requirements text, you can see that logging is not here. So I just want to underline this because many times there's a confusion to whether if you need to add to the requirements txt built-in modules, and the answer is no. So if you use logging, if you use time, daytime, OS, all these types of things, then you do not need to add them into the requirements txt, and you only need to add the ones that are external to Python. So if you have a doubt about which ones are built in, then what we can do is we can go back here, and we'll go to this page here, which is docs.python.org, and you have a whole list of the built-in modules that you do not need to put into the requirements txt because these are already here. For example, OS, which we will also use in later projects. So having finished all that, if we go back here and we close this up and we clear this up and we do an ls, as you can see, we now have our four files that we need for this project. We don't need to put anything else in here. This is all ready to go. So now what we want to do is we need to upload this or deploy it into App Engine, which in theory you have previously already prepared for this to work. So now we need to put in the instructions to deploy this, which you can do with gcloud app deploy, and then we'll click on enter. Make sure that you are in the folder that you put the four files in. Otherwise, this will not work. So I typed that wrong. We're just going to type it back in correctly this time. After you type that in correctly, it will ask if you really want to do this, and we are going to click Y for yes. And now this is going to upload this to our App Engine. Okay, so that took about three or four minutes to do. You just need to make sure that you're in the right projects. So in this case, we have a target project here, and it tells me where this is going to go. So you need to have previously selected your project. Remember to see the previous videos to see how this works out. So now that we have all that, we have this little guy here, which is our link to where the Hangouts chatbot is going to be activated. So we're going to copy this guy here because we will need that. And that's pretty much everything we need to do here. So now we're going to go back to the Google Cloud Platform project and finish off our configurations there. So now that we're here in the Google Cloud Platform project, we'll make this just slightly bigger to see if it's easier for us to see. OK, so now what we want to do is go to the three bars in the upper left. And if we go down here to App Engine, I just want to quickly show you guys that we now have this guy up and running. And as you can see, the title of the App Engine is also here. So what we grab from the terminal is also right here for us to select and copy if we so need to. In this case, everything's fine. So all we need to do here is go to the three bars, three horizontal bars, and we're going to go to the APIs and to the library. And here we're going to look for our chat one. And here we have our chat API. We're going to select that. And here it says Manage. Remember that by gcloud, we activated these APIs, so you need to have them activated beforehand. Otherwise, if it's not activated, you're going to have to put click here on Activate or whatever. So we're going to click on Manage. And then down here, we're going to click on Configuration. And then we have a few things we need to put here. So here we're just going to put YouTube Test again. And then down below, we need to put an avatar URL. We'll do that in a second. Description, we'll just say Hangbot. 
And down here, we're going to say bot works in direct messages and with multiple users. And then down here, we have four options. And we're going to choose the first option, which is the bot URL. And here, we're going to paste that link that we previously got to indicate to the API where this is going to be seen. And then down below, typically, if this was going to be something you're going to apply to your domain and you apply it to everyone, we're actually going to leave it like this because um, this is probably going to be used for an administrator. So therefore, we're just going to put the administrator email here or emails if you have more than one. So yes, you can apply it to just specific people if you so wish. And with that, you'll be just fine. So the thing we're missing right here is an avatar URL, and we will add that right now. So it does give you some minimum requirements you're going to have to follow. Usually, I just grab one from Imgur here. So you can do that as well, or you can use this one. Makes no difference. This is a generic one. So after we are all done with that, we can actually go down here and click on Save. OK, and then if we jump over to the error reporting here, we can see that there wasn't any errors. So it's very important that you go over to this page here and you enter in and see if there's anything not working, because this is where you're going to find out if something went wrong with the Python, if something went wrong when you were trying to upload it. Anything like that is going to come out here. So you just need to make sure that you check this if it's necessary. So now if we go to chat.google.com, we can actually go and try to find our Hangout spot that we just created. So here we're going to put YouTube. And as you can see, out pops our YouTube test. So we're going to click on this as we look for it. And when we open that up, it's going to give us something down here that says, thanks for adding me to this DM. And then if I put hi down here and click on enter, then it will repeat that message. And that has indicated to us that the app engine has worked out perfectly fine and we have no problems in relationship to errors. So what this finally does is allow us to go back to what we were doing before and edit that code and add stuff that we want. And then you don't have any problems. So let's see if we go back here to our terminal. We can clear this up. And then what we need to do in the future, the only thing we need to do is mm, edit or change the main file here. So here we can start making edits and whatnot. So let's just pretend I'm not going to do anything major with this. I'm just going to grab some of this here. And then we can bring it down. And let's say I don't need any of this here because it's just information. We can delete that, bring this up here. And then if there was something at the bottom I wanted to get rid of, for example, these two here. And remember that in the Blink or the iOS system, command period is actually your escape key. So many people don't know that, but that's a very good, interesting thing to know. And so if I grab these two here, I can delete those. And let's just say that I added other things. Okay, the, the idea here is you understand that we can go back into the main.py, change, edit, add, whatever you want. And that will allow us to update things later on. So now that we're finished, we're going to jump out of that, clear that up. And then all I have to do is repeat the same thing I had before, which was the G Cloud app deploy, spelling G Cloud correctly, because obviously I didn't do it the last time, right? And then when you're done with that, you click on enter. And then it will ask you once again, do you want to update this? And I'm going to click on yes. And then we let it do its thing, updating that main.py file. And that is essentially it. So when you want to start adding things, do you want to have conversations come in and whatnot? All you have to do is modify that main.py and you'll be set to go. And like I mentioned before, you can have this so that only a few people in the domain look at it or anyone in the domain. And then later on, you can make this public so that other people can download it and whatnot on other domains. But for now, the idea was just to get the idea of how this works in a very simple manner so you can apply it to your own domain if you want it. And with that, you can set up your own bots within your domain. So now that it is finished, it's telling me that it's set to go. We just clear that up. And then if we go back to our bot, the only thing we have to do here is to command R to refresh this page. Now. If, the, if you have a lot of code, sometimes this takes various seconds or even minutes to update. So if you get an, an error, if, you're, if the bot tells you that it doesn't have a response for you, don't worry about it. The idea here is to refresh it a couple times, maybe during the first minute or so, so that it's able to update everything. 
And like I say, that's especially important when it's something that's very long because I have seen that when the code is short, this takes a few seconds, when it's much, much longer, you may end up waiting a minute or two before everything is updated in the app engine for you to use it again. So just keep that in mind when you're doing these that you'll have to give it some time before you can start using it again. Outside of that, we're going to leave this video as it is. And in future videos, we'll add some stuff to the code that we uploaded right now so we can do some interesting things like control users and classroom and other things like that. But for now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.